Hello, it's Mike Carney from Nateza Product Marketing here at NZ Universe. And this afternoon I'm with Usama Fayad uh, from Open Insights. Hello, Usama. Hi, Mike. Hello. What, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. The first one is around big data. And I know you've got a lot of experience of, of working with very big data sets. What are some of the challenges of working with big data? Well, uh, big data is basically really, really taking over, showing, showing up everywhere. And, and what, we mean, what we mean by big data, it's not a very, very well-defined notion, but it really refers to data that breaks the boundaries of the uh, usual norm that we're used to. So uh, we normally characterize it with the three Vs, right? Volume, which is a huge, the amount of the data is huge. Velocity, which is the rate at which this data is arriving is pretty big. And variety or complexity, meaning uh, there's too many data types, there's unstructured data in there, there is semi-structured data, and we, you know, dealing with that data set not only requires the scalability and uh, the management technology to help you stay on top of it, but it also requires uh, the ability to extract uh, structure or semi-structure from that data, right. which means the ability to apply you know, big things like grid, like uh, other techniques for entity extraction, you know, the what, who, where, when, yep. uh, out of uh, data that may be just a bunch of text or a bunch of images uh, or audio. Uh, to turn it into something that's analyzable. So we're sort of having to do some processing to make it analyzable. Indeed. So processing becomes, uh, in, in traditional data warehouses, processing is, is thought of as a way to do, you know, regular AT, ETL or, or, or query processing. Right. Uh, with big data, processing moves sort of outside, almost outside the database to uh, defining new variables quickly, being able to load the data once transformed under these new variables, then revise that, and as you issue a new query, you might issue a whole new way of extracting right. uh, structure from that data to, to load it and to be able to answer questions. So we're from. asking far more processing of the data than a traditional data warehouse will. A lot more processing, a lot more flexible uh, ways of modeling, a lot more sophisticated uh, advanced analytics, meaning the ability to deal with a lot more uh, data. You know, Think of a document. A document, if you turn it into a bag of words, or uh, you know, essentially a, a set of keywords that are popular and uh, the number of times that keyword occurred in that document, you can easily have a document be represented as 250,000 or you know, 25,000 variables, right. Right? a single document. So you're sort right. of blowing up the data set in many ways. It blows up and it becomes, you know, big data just begets bigger, bigger data. Bigger. Okay, <laughs> so assume that we can actually manage big data. Can you talk about the business value that we can um, gain by uh, applying advanced analytics on, onto that big data? So what's, what's happening today, it's, it's sort of a, a wonderful opportunity and a huge challenge and uh, a, a pretty serious challenge, which is the following. Uh, capturing this data, staying on top of it, is pretty costly. Even right. though storage costs are coming down, uh, the, the degree by which the data is growing is much higher than the degree by which the data is actually dropping. You know, the, you know there's estimates that say, you know, uh, our hardware and, 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 and uh, our hardware costs basically go down by Moore's law, so yeah. they, they basically half every one and a half years, yeah. whereas data seems to double every nine months right. uh, yeah. empirically, which means, you know, for the last 20, 30 years, we've been falling way, way, way behind. behind. Yeah. So well, what does that mean for an organization? What that means is you have a challenge on your hands. You're going to have growing budgets. You're going to have much more room for waste uh, in terms of making the wrong choices, making the wrong guesses, spending a lot of energy, resources, people trying to stay on top of this big data that requires a lot of uh, attention and, and uh, a lot of effort to stay on top of it. But you need to justify these costs. You need to figure out, you know, how do I get budgets to do this? Well, to get budgets, you need to be able to speak to the business leadership and say, I really need this. To say I really need this, you must show value out of this data. And what's happening today is the value is gone beyond just measurement in terms of you know, having the right finances or staying on top of inventory, the simple stuff, what I call. Yeah. It's now gone to the world of predictive analytics, like who, which customers am I about to lose? Which customers should I focus on? Which customers are more profitable? which are likely to become more profitable, like you know, engineering students who are graduating and they're about to take on a career, etc. So organizations now have to get a lot of value out of that data 
the data is getting bigger, so the challenge of not just managing it, but analyzing it has gotten bigger. But if you tap into that, the value you can deliver to the organization, the advantages, the competitiveness you get out of it, are tremendous. Right, so it sounds and to me, just to wrap it up, that advanced analytics actually justifies actually collecting and managing that big data set. That's in, the payoff. Indeed, I actually refer to the uh, advanced analytics as the last mile. That if you don't close that last mile, you will never deliver value to the organization, which means you enter that death spiral of people looking at the data and saying, this is not useful, we can't invest in it, and right. by not investing in it, they fall further behind, and therefore they never get the value. So the whole idea is break out of that cycle quickly, make sure you're getting value out of the data, support the advanced analytics efforts, because they are likely to, to deliver not just high value, but also competitive intelligence, and uh, allow an organization to really excel and differentiate itself in the market. Usama, thank you very much for spending time with us this afternoon. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.